started this. I'd like to first uh, call uh, Mr. Terry Brawley to speak. I'd like to introduce you to him. He's formerly town manager of Moxville, former county manager of Davie County, and now the president of the Davie County Economic Development Commission. And my friend, Mr. Terry Brawley. Don, I'm not sure you can hear me out there. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, what another great day in Davie County. Chamber of Commerce, weather, and what a beautiful community to be a part of. And all the hard work that's went in to make today possible. I know earlier this week I talked a little bit about economic development and how economic development is a team sport. It's not just Terry Brawley out here doing the things that we do and are paid to do, but it's the work of our citizens, it's the work of our state government, it's the work of every one of you. I'm asked so many times, Terry, what can, what can I do to help you? You're doing it today. You're showing up to, to put a positive spin and give help to bring life to an asset for this community. So I want to thank you for being here today. Sometimes people spend a lot of time about asking questions about what they don't have. We in Davie County spend a lot of time measuring what we do have and what we can do about it to create an asset out of it. And that's exactly what we have done countless times in this community, and sometimes without the help of Washington, and thank goodness for Senator Brock and Representative Howard being in Raleigh to help us out with so many things. But we have a diverse need. In today's world, what it takes to grow new projects, new ideas, requires innovative and creative solutions to what we're going to uh, create jobs with in today's future. I think this project and what uh, Lynn's fixing to announce to you today is going to be an example of how this community is going to come together, create innovative and creative ideas to bring back a great asset and create jobs in this community. And I want to tell you that no one has worked harder than your mayor, Lynn Rumley, in terms of making this happen. She worked hard. thank her and her staff, her husband, and everybody else for what they have done to recognize this community and make this day happen. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. As he has alluded to, uh, Lynn Romney is going to uh, come to speak. And if you know her or when you hear her talk, you'll know she's a transplant, but we've adopted her uh, after being here with Jim about 27 years. So she's the director of the Textile uh, Heritage Center and the mayor of Cool. Uh, present Ms. Lynn Rummy. Thank you each and every one of you for coming. We have amongst us people whose ancestors helped build this mill, who moved to Cool and became the first cotton mill people, and people who have worked in the mill since. And we also have some younger people who work in a, in Heron, I hope, what comes about in this place. In 1962, a modern corporation named Burlington left a lasting impact on the people of Poole. Right before Christmas of that year, they ordered and began the demolition of the entire old downtown square, which sat right on that hill above and is depicted in our mural. Six years later, in the factory they had purchased from Irwin Mills, they ended cloth production here forever. We stand here today in front of what was once the economic engine of Davie County and its larger, largest employer and largest taxpayer with 1,800 workers at its height. Uh, in an instant, all that vanished when the mill closed. But because the people of this community and their faith remained, Kulami has endured. It has been the people's sense of community, their willingness to take care of one another, and their faith that kept hope alive. And that Kulami is one of, that this has meant that Kulami today is one of the few and the largest intact mill village communities in the whole South. We're here today to announce that there is a sustainable future for Kulami, a future with more prosperity through jobs for its people and a richer tax base so that the things we dream of won't be daydreams for our children and grandchildren.
want to create a place here at the mill that won't just up and leave like the last time and that won't be so vulnerable to the fluctuations of the global world market or some corporation's bottom line. We are here today to announce uh, that the Kulami Hot Mill Project, which is what we're calling it, will begin this fall. Bravo! Its intention, the intention of this project is to redevelop and reuse this, the largest man-made asset in our town, to become a place with all the amenities and more that the old downtown square had. In other words, to become a vital town center for the future of pooling. In addition, we hope that this will become uh, and create within its walls enough production and commerce for it to become once again the economic engine of David County. We are here today to tell you that the Kulami Cottonville Project will begin this fall because it has just been selected for awards in the amount of $200,000 from the Environmental Protection Agency and a $25,000 design grant from the National Endowment for the Arts, which needs to be matched one-to-one -one by non-federal funds, which I hope our folks in Raleigh, I know they're working on. In the end, this will provide $270,000 to begin a two-year design phase of the mill project. These funds will be fed, uh, spent to fully evaluate, evaluate the physical, environmental, and business reuse potential to develop architectural visions of how it will look inside and out. A key ingredient of this two-year design phase will be the gathering of the people in this community to say what you want to be in this mill. I already know that people here want something that is sustainable for 100 years into the future. And I also know from talking to people about the mill project that there are plenty of good, sound, and creative ideas of what should go in the mill. We even plan to involve, in this, from this grant money, the fourth and fifth grade students at Coolamie Elementary <coughs> School and coming and looking at the mill inside, looking at it outside, and going back to school and writing essays and drawing pictures of what they think can go in the mill because this is going to be there. We may not let them see it. By the end of this summer, the Coolamie Cotton Mill Village Mill and Village Histor nomination for the National Register of Historic Places will be complete. This work was funded by Davie County and matched by five generous members of the Coolamie Historical Association to put up Coolamie's match. And I believe they are all here today, somewhere in this audience. Uh, this work is being undertaken by Mac Jordan from Saxapaha, and I hope in the next month or so, y'all will take advantage of a field trip to Saxapaha that we're organizing in Coolamie, from Coolamie to see what they've done with their river mill, which is on the Hall River in Alamance County. <coughs> This, this nomination begins the process of gaining the historic tax credits for this project. These federal and state historic tax credits will gain the project 40% of the capital needed to renovate this stately old structure and adapt individual space for various long-term tenants. By the end of the design phase, this mill project will be investor ready. Being funded largely, the design phase being funded largely by taxpayer money and the work of local government and local nonprofits like the Coolamie Historical Association. This is what gives Coolamie its stake in the future of this mill. Beyond this, we call this a private, public-private uh, partnership. But beyond the first two years, uh, once the master plan is created, it will be a private investment that will drive its creation and completion of this new entity, private money. Entrepreneurs that we hope in the dozens and scores will come here. I'd like to take this time to thank the current owners of the mill 
and the Stokes County Yard Company, and some of their folks are out here today. Their support and involvement in this project uh, has meant that through the Davie County Economic uh, Development Commission, this project has an option on the bill that is allowing us to seek new owners to share our project vision, and they have assured us that once things are go forward, that they wish to become the first tenant in the mills. So that's really good. I'll close by saying that this world is a turbulent place, and you all know that. Nations are rising and falling, yet I don't think there's any reason for us to despair if we become active, active shapers of our own destiny. Although this project will take some years, we believe that this old mill, built and operated by the toils of Kulami's men, women, and children, can once again serve our needs for housing, jobs, and meeting each other in fellowship. Inside its walls, we will once again produce some of the things that we can trade across the globe and go also help us go back to more self-sufficient way of life, turning products from the rich agricultural farmland around us into value-added products so we can better feed and clothe ourselves. It is an honor, this project is an honor and memory of Kulmi's pioneer ancestors, our parents, grandparents, and that's who this project, ambitious project, is dedicated to. Okay. But the project itself is for our children and grandchildren's future that we embark so that they can have the means to stay right here in Kulmi, raise their own families, and take care of each other as neighbors, practicing those rich traditions and values that we are trying hard to pass on to them. Thank you. Last speaker, I'd like to uh, welcome to the podium. Um, is a very special person, and to me, uh, I've known Julia Howard for probably all my life, and uh, she's never uh, said no to be able to help. She's always been there uh, with a helping hand and with some good advice. Um, so, with 24 years representing Coolidge and Davie County General Assembly, she has been a critical partner in creating this project. I'd like to give a warm welcome to the Honorable Julia Howard. Uh, I'll just tell you that I love Kulami. Louder. And uh, I love Kulami. <laughs> no. Okay, well, I'll yeah. share. Um, I love Kulami. Yeah! graduated from Davie County High School in 1962, and that was just the time that the mill was beginning to close down and leave Coolamy. But I spent some of the best years of my life at the Coolamy Swimming Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me know. Please call me. And 
I'm going to be the first condo. <laughs> <laughs>